One tree that got a lot of hype with the 2.4 patch was the Druid Summoning Tree, with some fairly drastic changes to the core summons, but also some nice to have changes to the side summons. So today we're going to get those out of the way first with a look not only at Ravens, but also the Vine Brothers, with Poison Creeper, Carrion Vine, and Solar Creeper being interesting utility tools. Starting with the Cousins of Poison Ivy, it's important to remember that they are each exclusive, much like the Spirits, in that you can only have one Vine summoned at a time, with Poison Creeper being your starter tool and key synergy for a Rabies Druid. These are basically just simple Poison summons, and as such, are a fairly low utility even at max points, so the only time you really see them is whenever you're going for a Rabies Druid, and even then, they're usually better off with the other Vines. As far as how they work, they'll basically pop up out of the ground and lay down a static poison area that increases in duration with levels and will poison enemies it hits. And while the vines don't get attacked while underground, they can still be pretty easily killed whenever they do pop up. So don't expect them to last for a full game clear or anything like that. Not that you particularly need them to though, since even with improvements and their usefully limited duration on the actual poison, they tend to only beat out mid-tier poison skills for a bit damage since they are summons and they cannot be boosted by things like Death's Web, Grief, Plague, or Rainbow Facets. When it comes to the other two vines, Carrion and Solar, these are your corpse-consuming recovery vines, with Carrion returning a percent of your maximum life for each corpse consumed, which can be pretty handy as a random source of healing, even if it's not super reliable, and then Solar returning a percent of your maximum mana for each corpse consumed, which is a nice pick-me-up between battles to top off your mana for the next group of enemies. Though, since you can only have one active at a given time, you pretty much have to choose between the options, and while somewhat handy, they are only so valuable since the recovery is intermittent and they don't remove corpses at a significant enough speed to deal with stuff like corpse explosions. So generally, if these two are used, it's as one-point wonders for between battle recovery, unlike Poison Creeper, which does have its explicit use as a synergy for a rabies build. Now, while the vines are hard to hit due to staying underground, our last summon in this video is impossible to hit since it stays airborne, and that is Ravens, which got some massive buffs with 2.4 by integrating it with the animal branch of the summon tree, with synergies providing enhanced damage per level in the wolf and bear summons, as well as significantly improved base damage compared to the Lord of Destruction versions, to the point where these formerly underwhelming creatures are now the basis of some actually viable challenge runs. Now, even ignoring the damage aspects of Ravens, they do have other uses that they've had since day one, the most useful of which is the Blind Effect, which while not as extensive as dedicated blinds like Dim Vision or Cloak of Shadows, it can provide a lot more utility that many players just don't realize, especially since you can summon them up as a passive support between packs of enemies, letting you lead in with a blind and a bit of damage surge. Generally, though, I'd recommend just doing a single point and let plus skills do the rest, but if you are going a summoner route, they can be pushed to dealing a couple thousand damage per attack. It is important to note though that unlike the actual wolf and bear summons, the interaction with ravens is a true synergy, not a mastery effect like it is between the ground-based animals. So while your plus skills to dire wolves will help you out with your grizzly, they won't boost your raven damage, so it's a hard point or bust kind of thing for raven builds. So do you use any of the evasive summons? If so, which ones and why? Mention them down below, and as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. Bye.